Hi there, I'm Stacey Simmels. I'm an international board certified lactation consultant. I've partnered with LB to produce this video on how to navigate breast pumping challenges. So the aim of the video is going to give you information and advice, tips and strategies on what to do if certain challenges when breast pumping occur. Um, I categorise breast pump challenges, I suppose, into two different groups. The first being things that occur as a result of how you're using the pump versus challenges that occur secondary to the fact that you are lactating and may have different conditions related to that. So I'm going to start by talking about the first breast pumping challenge, which is pain during pumping. And what I'd like everybody to know and the message that I'd like everyone to take away with them is that it's not normal to experience pain whilst pumping. Beyond a gentle tug as you first put the pump on, anything more than that would be considered pain. And you should be thinking about how to stop what you're doing and figure out what it is that's going on for you um, and avoid it moving forward. So breaking down pain into different causes. The first cause may be that you are using the incorrect size of shield. So the shield is the component of the pump in which you sit the breast and it's got a, a hole or a funnel tunnel through which the nipple is pulled while the pump is on. So that's your shield. And ideally the shield should fit so that the nipple is comfortably pulled in very close to the edges, but not touching the edges of the tunnel. And that the areola and the breast is not being sucked through into that hole, that it stops. That's the ideal size for, for you. Um, please note that it's possible that one breast and nipple requires one size and one breast and nipple requires another and that you might need two different sizes. And also note that it's possible that during your pumping journey that you may have changes in your breast size and potentially nipple size. And in that situation, you may find that if you weren't in pain, but now you're starting to be in pain, you might need to adjust the size of the shield that you're using. Using. The second thing when it comes to the shield fit is making sure that you just take a second or two when you first put the pump on to ensure that the nipple is in alignment with that tunnel that it's going to be pulled down so that there isn't a part of it that's going to be misdirected and rub up against a part of the funnel because that could cause um, damage to the nipple and pain during pumping. The second uh, potential cause of pain during pumping is that the suction that you are using on the pump is too high for you. And if the suction is too high, it can cause friction, which can cause pain and damage. It might be thought, I know, higher suction means more milk. And I wanna just clarify this situation in that that's not necessarily the case at all. Your milk output on a pump is going to be super individual to you. And every person who's pumping will have a different response to the same pump and the same shield and the same suction as the next person. So when it comes to breast milk output, please don't think whack up the suction and that's what's going to do it. When it comes to the suction, what I would like is for people to um, put the suction on the highest that it feels comfortable and no more. And in fact, in doing that and not being in pain, arguably that's going to help your milk output even more. So um, please, please take that advice about the suction. And then the final cause of pain during pumping is if you've got an existing condition that's causing pain, such as already damaged nipples, um, breast engorgement, mastitis, all of which will make the nipples and the breast particularly tender and, and really unhappy and uncomfortable. But you will need to continue nursing, continue pumping, continue to do a combination of both. And it's at this point I really wanted to introduce you to the pumping rhythms um, update on the LV pump, which is accessible to anybody that's got an LV already and any new LV customers. And in this um, pumping rhythms update, there are a number of different new settings, one of which is called slow and gentle. Now the slow and gentle setting is for you if you're experiencing any pain whilst you're pumping. The rhythm is slowed down, the strength is reduced, and that combination means that you can 
pump with less pain, but while still stimulating your breasts and getting milk output as you, as you wanted. And so please check out the Pumping Rhythms update and the slow and gentle setting if you're experiencing pain. Moving on, I want to talk about another significant challenge for people who are pumping, and that is not getting enough milk. Obviously, the idea of what's enough milk is very individual, but not enough milk that you're expecting or that your baby needs. And so that can be really worrying and troubling for, for women, for pumping people. So we're going to talk about how you can help with that too. So skin to skin contact or um, any contact, either nursing your baby or um, being with them whilst you're pumping is going to really help to enhance um, pumping output, uh, milk supply and the flow of oxytocin, which, you know, in turn helps both of, both of those things. Now, I do appreciate if you are pumping, it may well be that there's a reason you can't be with your baby, you can't be nursing your baby at that point in time um, and that you're going to be separated. And in that situation, then, of course, you're not able to do skin to skin contact. But thinking about things such as listening to the sound of your baby cooing, gurgling, even crying can help, um, watching videos of your baby, looking at pictures of your baby, or having something of your babies that you can smell or look at whilst you're pumping. All of those things could potentially make a difference. The next thing I want to introduce you to is a technique known as the hands-on pumping technique, which has definitely been shown to increase pumping output for um, people who pump, particularly it was studied and looked at on um, breastfeeding parents of preterm babies. And so with this technique, what you would do is you would use some breast massage, including nipple st stimulation, prior to starting pumping. Then you would place the pump on and during pumping, you would be looking at using a sort of hand expressing um, technique or breast compression technique to try and enhance the number of sprays through massage whilst pumping and at the same time the pump is pulling milk. Once you uh, do that throughout the, the pumping that you're doing and you'll, you'll notice that your milk starts to slow down and goes to those last little drops, you would then stop the pump, massage the breasts again and hand express if you can. And if not, you put the pump back on and you continue to pump some more, ideally aiming to get more pump, more milk out of the pump. So that's the hands-on pumping technique and a great one to be trying if you want to optimise your milk output on the pump. The next thing I want to talk about is um, your letdown reflex. And so often when pumping, people will put the pump on, get the letdown of milk, so the fast flowing sprays of milk, keep pumping, the milk slows down, uh, to the last drops and then the pumping session will finish. And actually when we're nursing babies, we know that it's very common for us to have multiple of these letdowns um, during um, a nursing session. And so whilst on the pump, if we can do something to try and stimulate multiple letdowns, you can enhance your milk output. And on the pumping rhythms update, there's a new setting called the multi-switch setting, which has been designed to do that. And it switches from the fast, softer, um, pumps which are designed to be like when your baby suckles at the start of a breastfeed and stimulates oxytocin and then switches to the slower more drawn out pumps which is designed to stimulate and look like how your baby nurses and sucks and swallows in a slower pattern and on the multi switch it's going to switch back to the shorter um, faster um, bursts and then back again to the longer pulls. And so you're switching from different types of rhythm, mimicking how a baby may nurse and aiming to stimulate those multiple letdowns um, whilst, you're, whilst you're nursing. And then the final thing when it comes to milk output, which I mentioned earlier on, is making sure that your shield fits. And so there's been information shared already on that. 
And then the final challenge that I'd like to address is the challenge of um, milk leakage from the pump, which doesn't happen to everybody, but when it does happen, can be really frustrating, quite stressful, um, not least because you're losing milk, but it but it's it's not an ideal position or situation to be in. Um, and so it tends to happen with those people who have um, a heavier flow of milk when when they're pumping or a fast letdown. Um, they're the they're the people that tends to um, notice this sort of leakage within the breast um, within the breast pump. And again, I want to direct you to LV's new um, pumping rhythms um, update because they've designed a setting uh, to really counter this for those people who are experiencing it. And the setting is called Express and Collect setting and on the express collect setting you just need to pump on that setting but what you won't necessarily know or notice that what they've done is they've built in some pauses to allow any additional milk that isn't being caught quite fast enough to catch up and to reduce leakage and so if that's something you've experienced or are experiencing then please do um, uh, check out the update for pumping rhythms and try the collect setting. So I hope that you found all the information that I've shared today on this video helpful and um, there's more information um, that's now going to be shared in the top left corner of the screen at lv.com about all of the things we've discussed today, the pumping rhythms update and loads more informative content about things relating to nursing, breastfeeding and pumping and also in the comments below. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Goodbye.